In the small college town of Huntington, the somber feeling this time of year is felt by everyone. But some carry a heavier weight. Former football coach Red Dawson was one of the few who did not board the plane on the night of the crash. I spoke with him about what the last 44 years have been like and what gave him the strength to carry on. Different things bring up different memories and thinking back like I knew them is a good memory. For Coach Dawson, 75 isn't just a number, but a list of players he patted on the back and friends that never return home. Kevin Gilmore, he was a defensive back and a running back for Marshall. He was on the plane when it crashed and um, he was a New Jersey boy. Mm -hmm. Good player, good guy. He says it was difficult the first few years after the tragedy to attend the fountain ceremony. And there was a tree around there that I, you know, that's where I listened to the service and uh, nobody could see me and um, I felt very, very comfortable there. I couldn't talk about it and I didn't want to talk about it. Dawson says he's found comfort in the strength of the Marshall community as they encouraged him to stay and coach a year after the crash. And now, since I've learned to talk about it, I can uh, sit out there in the crowd. Kind of gives you something to get out of bed for in the morning to try to build the program back. I still don't watch a football game like I used to with the same thoughts, and, and I don't know much about it anymore either. Although the game will never be the same for Coach Dawson, he will always have a place on the sidelines and in the heart of Marshall football. Jesse Starkey, MU Report. Yeah,